Hello everybody uh, Welcome to our video which is we gonna talk about uh, anxiety disorder how to prevent it the symptom is and I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy the video uh, we are from the life of youth uh, so hope you enjoy and help this video help you guys in this matter so enjoy Hello, welcome back to me. Um, uh, before that, I want to in introduce my name is uh, Faiz, I'm as the president of this company. I'm going to introduce you about our company, which is the Life of Use. So this is our uh, introduction. Uh, for, first of all, providing a quality and reliable mental health service to all ages, which is we. Uh, not commonly focus on one it is we we focus on because anxiety disorder is not only on some ages certain ages only which it, it, it could on children some elder some teenagers uh, so we focus on all ages second of all our focus is raising a public awareness about a mental health awareness about health issues the issues we are focusing is anxiety disorder uh, uh, we some of the uh, some of uh, some of the public uh, didn't know about the symptom the how to prevent the anxiety disorder how the effect on anxiety disorder uh, that's we we gonna explain it on the next next as a uh, next video so since the advent of the covid 19 pandemic there are an increasing number of people facing health problem prompting us to launch a campaign which and addressing the anxiety disorder this uh some of the since pandemic has struck us down all some of us has lost their work some of them has lost their loved ones some of the the economy some some of the economy have decreasing so people have some stressful about money how to survive that's all uh, so we're gonna we're gonna help you in this video uh, the theme of our campaign is music because we music have some frequency that can make you calm calm comfort and I will share with you in this the description the link of the video video the link of the music that is gonna help you calm yourself so you you should watch it oh sorry you should you should hear it out why anxiety or disorder will be uh, our source of inspiration of, for holding this campaign is COVID-19 pandemic with pandemic situation that has hit the world the pandemic start uh, from china maybe uh, i maybe from china and it transferred to the other country other country and it hit the whole world the whole world become a lockdown the existence of this pandemic has because some of the adult can cannot go home because working out of their country and the uh, and the pandemic strike down some of them has lost their loved ones since since they are at our station king since the border have been closed the transportation like flight train 
all of it have be closed so people can go cannot go anywhere they can see their loved one pass away for from far on the on the call on the video call that's all that's hurt them uh. that it could damage their mental health actually this um, nextly the student was struggling and studying in online class yes some of us has um, give up and study because they are the online classes different environment because we uh, we are not talking in physically we we could we could uh, just um, afk you, if you know about afk is away from keyboard we are watching we are entering the class but we are doing some something else like that uh, that's uh, why the online class hard for students right now. So it is different environment, no lab work, no practical work. That some struggling for a student. Next, mm. this is our company organization chart. We start with me as the president, Mohamed Faiz Mohamed Secondly, the vice president, which is Alif Farhan. Uh, nextly, the secretary, which would be uh, Faris Idris. Next, uh, the treasurer will be Akmal Omar Akmal. Uh, the event manager will be Al Ikhwan. And the publicity manager will be Muhammad Azadin. So that's all for me right now. So you can enjoy the, the whole video, which is we're gonna talk about problems, preventing symptom, how, how, what, how the anxiety disorder start, what, what, how does it feel, how does it hit, how to cope with it, and etc. Et so enjoy the video. We we'll meet again. Assalamualaikum. My name is Faris Idris. I want to present about anxiety disorder. What is anxiety disorder? An anxiety disorder is a type of mental health condition. If you have an anxiety disorder, you may respond to certain things and situations with fear and dread. You may also experience physical signs of anxiety, such as a pounding heart and sweating. It's normal to have some anxiety. You may feel anxious or nervous. If you have to tackle a problem at work, go to an interview, take a test, or make an important decision. And anxiety can even be beneficial. For example, anxiety help us notice dangerous situation and focus our attention, so we stay safe. But an anxiety disorder goes beyond the regular nervousness and slight fear you may feel from time to time. An anxiety disorder happens when anxiety interferes with your ability to function. You often overreact when something triggers your emotion. You can control your responses to situation. Anxiety disorder can make it difficult to get through the day. Fortunately, there are several effective treatments for anxiety disorder. Thank you. Yeah, Assalamualaikum. Um, my name is Alifahan Bima Masri. I am the Vice President of the Life of Youth. Uh, I'm going to talk about the type of anxiety disorder. Okay, type of anxiety disorder. Uh, there are several types of anxiety disorder. The first one is panic disorder. Panic disorder is 
experiencing recurring panic attacks at unexpected time. The person with panic disorder may live in fear because they do not know when is the next panic attack. Second one is phobia. Phobia is excessive fear of a specific subject, situation or activity. The third one is social anxiety disorder. Social anxiety disorder is an extreme fear of being judged by others in social situation. The fourth one is obsessive compulsive disorder that we know as uh, OCD. OCD is recurring irrational thought that lead you to perform specific repeated behavior. The fifth one is the separation anxiety disorder. It is uh, the fear of being away from home or loved one. The, sixth, the last one is uh, illness anxiety disorder. This is the anxiety about your health, formerly called hypochondria. Okay, Hi, so my name is Mama Akmal bin Anwar. I'm the treasurer in this company. So now I'm going to talk about signs and symptoms. So anxiety can take several forms depending on the person who is experiencing it. You may feel a variety of emotion from butterfly in your stomach to a racing heart. It is possible to feel out of control as if your mind and your body are not communicating. Anxiety disorder may be debilitating, but with the right support from a medical expert, people can manage them. So I think the first step is to recognize symptoms. So I'm going to list a few of the most frequent symptoms. So first and foremost, panic disorder is a type of anxiety disorder in which a person may experience recurring panic attack. Panic attacks are characterized by an intense, overwhelming fear that can be debilitating. During panic attack, a person may also have a few symptoms. Consists of sweating, shortness of breath, shaking, rapid heartbeat, and the last one is chest tightness. Second, one of the most anxiety symptoms is agoraphobia. So what is exactly agoraphobia? Agoraphobia is a fear of being trapped in scenarios where escaping is hard or when help is unavailable if anything goes wrong. For example, when you leave your residence and enter public locations or when you take public transportation, in other words, when you are busy in a busy place. You may feel frightened, panic or nervous as a result in this situation. You might be able to escape some situation entirely. This might have an impact on day-to-day -day life. Last but not least, in the second half of night, you can experience a nightmare. Nightmare might happen infrequently or regularly, perhaps many times per night. The dreams are usually brief, but they wake you up, making it difficult to fall back asleep. A nightmare might make you sweat or cause your heart to accelerate while in bed. So what I'm trying to say is the sign and symptom of this anxiety disorder can lead to a major health issue. Thank you. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Mama Ezadin bin Mama No. Today I will explain what thing can cause anxiety disorder. The actual source of anxiety disorder is unknown to the research until today. However, a number of factors play a role including personality factor, difficult life experience and physical health. Factor number one, family history. Some people who experience anxiety condition may have a genetic predisposition toward anxiety and this condition can sometimes run in a family. However, having a parent or close relative experience anxiety or other mental health condition doesn't mean you will have automatically developed anxiety. Factor number two, personality factor. Research suggests that people with certain personality traits are more likely to have anxiety. For example, children who are perfectionists, easily frustrated, inhibited, lack self-esteem, or want to control everything, sometimes develop anxiety during childhood, adolescence, or as an adult. Factor number three, ongoing stressful event. 
Anxiety condition may develop because of one or more stressful life event. Common triggers include work stress or job change, change in living arrangement, pregnancy and giving birth, family and relationship problem, major emotional shock following or a stressful or traumatic event, verbal, sexual, physically or emotional abuse or trauma, death or loss of a loved one. And last factor, factor number four, physical health problem. Chronic physical illness can also contribute to anxiety condition or impact on the treatment of either the anxiety or the physical illness itself. Common chronic condition associated with anxiety condition include diabetes, asthma, hypertension, and heart disease. Some physical condition can mimic anxiety conditions like an overreacting thyroid. It can be useful to see a doctor and be asked to determine whether there may be a medical cause for your feeling of anxiety. If you have symptoms of anxiety disorder, see your doctor or a mental health specialist such as a psychiatrist, psychologist or a si licensed clinical social worker. A self-diagnosis is recommended because a significant problem with self-diagnosis of health anxiety is a rate of false positives by which the user diagnoses themselves with a mental health condition that they do not actually have. This may occur due to lack of consideration to the four criteria. To diagnose an anxiety disorder, a doctor performs a physical exam, asks how about your symptoms and recommends a blood test which helps the doctor determine if another condition such as hypothyroidism may be causing your symptoms. The doctor may also ask about any medication you're taking. Certain medication may cause symptoms of anxiety. Anxiety may also accompany medical conditions such as systemic lupus erythematosus, sleep apnea, and schizophrenia. Psychological conditions including post-traumatic stress disorder, eating disorder may also accompany anxiety disorders. Or the, for this reason, specialists also ask questions that allow him or her to evaluate whether another psychological condition could be affecting you. After the specialist assesses your symptoms and family history, he or she conducts a feedback session during which you and the doctor discuss the diagnosis and most appropriate treatment options. Generally, the best way to treat anxiety disorder is by consulting a doctor. A psychiatrist is a medical doctor who specializes in diagnosing and treating mental health conditions. A psychologist and certain other mental health professionals can help diagnose anxiety and provide counseling. One method of treatment is psychotherapy, also known as talk therapy or psychological counseling where you talk with a therapist to reduce your symptoms. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT, is the most effective form of psychotherapy for anxiety disorders. Generally, a short-term treatment, CBT focuses on teaching you specific skills to improve your symptoms and gradually return to the activities you avoided because of anxiety. Medications can also help in treating your symptoms. Several medications exist for different treatments and disorders. For example, certain antidepressants are also used to treat anxiety disorders such as buspirone, but consult a doctor before taking it. In limited circumstances, your doctor may prescribe other medications such as sedatives, also called benzodiazepines or beta blockers. These medications are for short-term relief of anxiety. Talk with your doctor about benefits, risks and possible side effects.